Hello, everyone who's in the room. Just kind of coming to the room and opening the floor and uh, getting myself acclimated to being on social media and drag live. Um, I don't normally do live stuff, but I really am trying to step out of my comfort zone and drag and do things live and talk about things live. So um, here I am. <laughs> How am I? I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. Um, my band is doing well. Um, I'm really trying to figure out like where to flex my artistic abilities these days um, outside of the band. That part, um, I think as you get older, you, you question how, how, how long your artistry is going to last in this industry. And um, I'm feeling a little, a little conflicted with where I want to place my um, artistry and my integrity and my heart. So um, that part is a little conflicting at the moment. So I'm really trying to gauge that um, and giving myself time and space to um, just kind of own that and take notice of it. Um, ah, thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Yeah, all is well. I just took a break. Um, I, you know, admittedly, when I was, when I, when I left Drag Race, it was kind of a hard thing for me. Um, it was definitely many years ago, but it was, um, very challenging for me. Um, and I didn't necessarily know where I wanted to place my talent. Um, I also didn't know, um, where my um, balance of um, respect and in integrity was going to lie, and that was um, that was challenged too. So I had to just kind of step back and um, take a moment to just kind of flex my other skills. So um, yeah, feel free to ask me any any questions. It's actually useful for me um, to ask me any questions about drag race life, whatever. Um, I'd like to be as much as I can be. Um, a, a beacon of vulnerability and hope for other people. So, um, um, any off or on Broadway possibilities for you in the future? Huh, well, um, I did audition for a project that may move to Broadway. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get it, but I believe the person that did get it deserved it. Um, and that person uh, and I have been in talks and um, we'll probably work together in some other capacity, but um, there's nothing that's speaking to me specifically right now. I, I talked about this a little bit yesterday. Um, uh, to some degree, I'm, I've been considered a lot about um, being a swing, and um, that was sort of uh, my bread and butter um, for a while, particularly when I was doing Motown, because I uh, started out as the bass or covering the bass and then I moved into a swing position and then when people saw my skill set uh, they kind of wanted to lock me in that and that's just not where I am so I'm really trying to figure out um, if it's something that I would do in the future or not it really depends on the project hey Tanya hey Danny um, yeah I mean like I think that my, my drag on Drag Race was uh, probably a bit progressive um, at the time. Um, I think that now the kids today are, are showing much more of a spectrum. Um, I'd like to think that I had some small part in that. Um, whether the universe will make that an amplified uh, credit for it is another thing, but um, that's okay too. Dietro, what's up, my high school friend? How you doing? <laughs> ah, Rufo, how are you? I'm almost looking like you tonight. <laughs> this is so cool seeing everybody here. I haven't been on here like live like this in a minute. So, and I'm sure it's refreshing to see some of my high school friends that I haven't spoken to on Instagram live. Um, so, hello. <laughs> I'm so much taller now, y'all. You have no idea. I don't know what happened. For those of you who don't know, I was 4'11 in high school. Um, and now I'm 5'10. So. Mm. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Yeah, so I just want to take a moment and, like, say hello to people. Say, um, oh, thank you, Rupal. You know, 
Look, I'm trying to keep it cute. I'm trying to look like you. I'm trying to look like you. If if any of you knew if you knew Rupal, you will know that she is one of the most beautiful women I've ever laid eyes on. Sincerely. Um uh, thank you, Deetra. Thank you. Thank you. Still chugging along, still doing it. These folks don't know. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see all of you here. Um, I was speaking a little bit about drag race and my career, and um, I'm trying to be a little bit more open um, with my artistry and my, my thoughts and putting things out into the universe. I think that um, sometimes we get so used to editing ourselves and what we put out into the universe that we don't get to live our lives in its fullest. So I'm trying to work against that now. And so, and this is part of that, being in drag and, and um, being alive and talking to my extended family and my family and old friends and new friends. So um, yeah, welcome. And if you've been here all along, thank you. Um, yeah. Am I open to doing all stars? This is a question that I get often. Um, this is, that's a very challenging question. I think I would have to say uh, no. Um, I think it's it's probably rooted in some of the um, the trauma from the the season that I was on. Um, so I I know that to some degree um, some of the practice there have gotten better. Um, they've evolved in certain ways, but um, you know. I'm not sure if I want to go back down that road um, in a competitive um, way. Um, I know what my skill set is. I know what my capabilities are. I, I really need a team to, you know, to, to see it and cultivate it as, as opposed to having me have, having to cater to a, a TV uh, reality aspect of it. Um, that's the shorter version of it, but um, I'm happy to go on a longer version. Christian, what's up? What's up? I did have a late growth spurt. <laughs> very late. Very late. Yeah, but now I'm really thankful, Dietra. Now I'm really thankful. Because you know my real age. So, <laughs> I'm very thankful. Mm. Tonight's moment is sponsored by Gosling Ging Ginger Beer. It's really good. If you haven't had it, try it. It's really good. Mm. Christian, how you doing, friend? How's everybody doing? How are we really doing? I'll tell you what, I was very, 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 very um, inspired by um, Cory Booker today. Um, did I get collagen in my knees? Um, I did get a shot of cortisone, I believe, uh, a while ago. But um, maybe it's time for collagen in my knees. I don't know. I definitely need to cut back on some of those dance moves that I did 20 years ago. Um, I think when you have that adrenaline rush and you're a performer, you're just not really thinking um, as much. But... Um, yeah, Berta, yes, I do love my ginger products. <laughs> and thanks to you. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'm trying to cut back on, on, you know, doing a lot of floor work, you know, um, so that I don't have to have collagen in my knees. But, um, if it calls for it, I'm not going to rule it out. Um, uh, you're welcome, Christian. You're welcome. You know I'm here if you ever need me. You know that. I hope you have a good night. Yes, I do love my ginger products. <laughs> mm. Brother, send me a heart if you're doing good. Hit that little heart button. Make sure that you're doing good. You're doing well. Mm-hmm. Ah, good, good. 
Mm. Mm. Yesterday I was on Instagram, had a different look, and I was playing some music and it got cut off, you know, like, and I, I wish I could play some music, that would be fun. I'm not sure if I can play my band's music, maybe I'll try it next time, and hopefully I won't get cut off. But um, for those of you who don't necessarily keep up a lot on my page, um, I'm in a doo-wop band, it's called The Doo-wop Project, and um, we're a 10-piece doo-wop band, we travel all over the U.S., and for those of you who know my band and don't know this, hello. <laughs> um, my alter ego is Milan. And uh, I spent many, many years in New York working as a drag performer. I started in South Carolina, um, working with a lot of girls there and uh, progressed to New York. I was on Drag Race, all the things. And uh, yeah, I've been very fortunate with the fruitful life as an artist, both in the boy world and in the female aesthetic. So, um, hello if you're in the room. If you're still in the room, thank you for staying in the room or coming by. Um, yeah, I'm not in makeup often, so I figured if I am gonna be in makeup that I should uh, spend some time with, with all of you and and share it, um, and not necessarily hoard uh, my skills, which I can sometimes do. Um, so I'm really trying to put it back out into the universe. Um, Kevin wants to be in my video. Let's see how this works. Gregory, how are you? Ah, um, Thomas asked, what is the most positive and negative thing that came from Drag Race? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I will say the most positive thing was meeting the girls and really seeing how dedicated and enthusiastic and just um, on point they were with their drag and their careers in drag. Um, that was the most inspiring, the most beautiful, uh, the most authentic experience there with them. Um, the negative thing was having to compromise my integrity. Um, there's a lot of things that, that go on um, I, I try to be respectful of the brand while also no, noticing that there are some things that, um, that should have not happened that could have been changed that some of the things may have been worked on. But at the time for me, it was very hard to compromise, um, my desire to, um, make sure that people were okay. Even, even if I was competing against them, I wanted to make sure that people were okay. Um, and that was challenging for the team because they are making a TV show. You know, they, they, to some degree, they need the conflict. They want the conflict. And, um, you know, I, I came off as a rabble rouser peacemaker of sorts. Um, and that was very hard. So, um, uh, and, and it still can be challenging trying to, uh, trying to find the space of being respectful of the brand and being respectful of who I am and what what I what I believe in, um, and so that part is challenging. But um, I would say those two things. Uh, Marie, how you doing, girl? Come back to visit so we can go dancing again. David, David, how was your trip to Mexico? We need to catch up again. Hmm. If I could fight one person on Drag Race in a naked jello match, who would it be? <laughs> is this platonic or is this sexual? <laughs> I'd probably want to fight Latrice because I just, I just love Latrice so much. I just love her so much. I want to fight Latrice. I just think that would be fun. I would not win, but it would be fun to fight Latrice. <laughs> Tony, how are you? <laughs> What's up, TBDS? What's up, Teddy Bear? Oh, sexual. Okay, we're gonna go there. Um, I just think that April Carry On is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, both in and out of makeup. I just think that April is so beautiful. Oh, April Carry On. Um, Pepe, what's up? What's up? It's good to see you here. I don't think you've ever seen me like this when we met in PV. 
<笑>うんあ、uh, Thank you David Thank you Yeah I, I just think that like April、um, Honey Mahogany like just beautiful just beautiful Billy how are you What's up <laughs> uh, thank you, Billy.、Mm. I can't take all the credit. I have to thank my O ring light, too. I mean, and I thank my mom and dad.、Um, they, they're the ones that gave me this really good skin. So, Andre, what's up? How are you? If you're coming to the room, thank you. Welcome to the room.、Um, I was playing in makeup. Kareem, get on top. <laughs> How are you? Um, wow, there's a good, good mix of people in the room. I've had high school friends, I've had my nieces,、um, people I met along the way, people I met in the nightlife industry, people I met. Yeah, this is a great mix.、Um, I wish you could all see、uh, the melting pot of people、um, that have been in this room.、Um, I, wish, I wish the world was a little bit more reflective of that、um, as far as people in their circle of friends and supporters. Um, so, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for that support. I really appreciate it. <laughs> When is Miss Cleo coming back? You're the second person that actually asked me that today.、Um, I don't think I really know. <laughs> Dallas Fan Jen, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's been a minute since I've been. Dressed up, and I,、um, I saw this gorgeous picture of Kelly Rowland tonight with this long hair, and I was like, oh, this will be my inspiration to just get into makeup tonight and、um, put it on and just say hello to everyone. Oh, I love you too, Gregory. Oh, one day, Gregory, I'm gonna、uh, trans.、Uh, oh, God, what's.、Uh, Uh, those files, those, those movies that I made. I have so many VHS tapes. So many. Thank you. So much footage. I need to, to dig it up so you can see some of it. If you're in the room, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're talking all things drag, Dwayne, my band.、Uh, I'm just trying to allow myself to be more comfortable and um, vulnerable, um, just being live and just being open. Um, to all of you,、um, I think sometimes I have a tendency to, to want to retreat and be guarded.、Um, it's rooted in you know, trauma.、Um, but I think that I, the more that I can just be open and have these kind of conversations and come here,、um, it, it will work in my favor and my mental spirit.、Um, uh, yeah, I get, I get Kelly, I get Donna um, uh, often, um, and I'll take it. I wish I had their vocals because I'd have way much, way much more work. <laughs>、um, I wish I was the first tenor. That would help. So, John Lucas, hey, what's up? I miss you too, David. Let's figure this out. Let me know.、Uh, thank you, Gregory. Hugs to you too. John, how you doing? If you're still in the room, thanks for watching. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that bass. I know that. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to sing Last Dance in bass, in a bass register, but I don't. <laughs> oh, these lashes. These lashes are called Tati lashes.、Um, can't remember the website, but、uh, can you see that? Tati lashes.、Um, I think、um, there's a, a, a supermodel、um, named Winnie Harlow, I believe. Yeah, I, 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 she's so stunning. I was like, what is she wearing? And I was like, oh, those lashes. I want those. <laughs>、um, and a couple other folks wear those lashes too. I think Michelle Visage wears Tati lashes.、Um, yeah, so I really, I really like them.、Um, I've been going in and out of trying to figure out, like, what do I want my look to be? But I don't, I'm not exactly sure if I'll ever have a、um, signature lash or a signature whatever.、Um, but I, 
I love these lashes and I do tend to go more towards a, um, a soft glam look. Um, it gives me a little bit more versatility when I'm trying to go from different um, personas and characters in drag. Um, when I used to do like show shows, I would go like, you know, from Tina Turner to whoever and then add a darker eyelash or, or change the lip um, or smoke the eye out. So having the soft uh, palette allows me to enhance and shape within the show. So that's usually like where I like to start and kind of stay there. Um, I like my, <laughs> my inspiration used to be, can I get out of the house and get on the train? And if that, that's the look I want. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's good to hear, John. It's good to hear. I'm glad that you're healing. It's good to see you too. Yeah. If you're in the room, thank you for coming to the room. If you stop by the room, thanks for stopping by the room. Um, I am just taking a moment to um, say hello. And to say thank you to all of you who have supported me both in and out of drag. Um, I'm also trying to allow myself to be more uh, just kind of open and just, you know, just have conversations with people. Um, so here we are. Thank you for the hearts, David. <laughs> I think someone wanted to join the room. I need to figure that out. I haven't done it yet. Uh, uh, thank you, Dallas. I appreciate that. Um, I think that a lot of the times uh, we as performers are uh, told that we need to be on and we have to be a certain way and we're, we're not allowed to let our guard down and just be present. Um, and be vulnerable and be here. So um, I'm trying to, I, I need both. You know, when I need to be on, I need to be on and turn the party out. But when I'm, you know, when I'm in this zone, you know, I'm not necessarily trying to be on. You know, I'm, I'm really trying to just be open and, and present and, and here. So um, Christian, you know, I always love our conversations. Um, they're very, very thoughtful and um, very heartfelt and, uh, very honest between the two of us. So, you know, I, I love you for that. Um, yeah. Um, I'm usually not, I'm not the girl that you want to come to if you want to, to turn the party up on Facebook Live. Like, <laughs> unless I'm performing, you know, I'm, I'm really more about having these kind of connections, uh, these kind of conversations um, to just offer a different perspective, especially around drag. I don't think people talk about um, mental health or, or a lot of those um, issues when dressed in drag. So uh, maybe it's part of my calling. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I'm putting that out into the universe. Um, you know, if if I if I had my own talk show, it would definitely, you know, incorporate some of that with with performance as well. And like, I don't know. I think like Oprah Winfrey meets RuPaul. Like something like that. Yeah. With some sketches and stuff thrown in too. So if you know some people, tell them. <laughs> Variety show with heart and substance. Uh, Vanessa, hey, how are you? This says, bring, oh, let me see this. One second here. <laughs> 